Did you know that your very own refrigerators and air conditioners are significantly contributing to climate change? We tend to think that if we stop driving our cars and recycle our plastic, that we can undo the detriment we have caused to our planet. However, did you know that appliances such as refrigerators, air conditioners, and aerosol sprays contain insidious chemicals called HCFCs, or otherwise known as chlorofluorocarbons? CFCs do not just destroy the Earth's protective o- ozone in the stratosphere. They also trap heat and other gases in our troposphere. Because CFCs are such stable molecules, they do not react easily with other chemicals in the lower atmosphere. CFC molecules are then able to migrate intact into the stratosphere, where the molecules are bombarded by ultraviolet rays, causing the molecule to break up and release their chlorine atoms. The released chlorine atoms participate in ozone destruction, with a single atom of chlorine able to destroy ozone molecules over and over again. Luckily, in 1987, scientists figured out that CFCs were rapidly depleting the ozone layer and gathered world leaders, manufacturers, and environmental groups in what is known as the Montreal Protocol. During the conference, the participating nations agreed to ban the production of CFCs, which at the time was an industry of over $1 billion annually and a production of 1 million metric tons of CFCs. Greenhouse gases, whether they come from HCFCs or smokestack, behave similarly once they enter the upper atmosphere. The only difference is that refrigerants like HFCs and HCFCs are in some cases 3,000 times more impactful to the environment than many other greenhouse gases. HCFC-22 is the most common HCFC used for refrigeration. When compared to a molecule of CO2 over 100 years, it traps 1,800 times as much heat. This is a unit known as global warming potential. We can use it to compare the strength of different gases. Let's look at methane with its GWP of approximately 32. One molecule of HCFC-22 traps as much heat as 56 molecules of methane. Another major aspect to think about is how it affects your health. CFCs do not have long-term effects on your health. However, they do affect your short-term well-being. The most important thing now is to take action and spread the word. With new laws being passed limiting who can talk about climate change, it is important that our generation uses their voices in order to make people aware of the impact we have on our environment to make sure that our grandchildren and children can experience the wonderful things our earth has to offer.